Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at what $1 gets you around the world. So, we all have a general idea of what $1 can buy us. If you go down to the store, you can likely buy a can of drink for $1. However, in some countries, you can get way more, like an entire meal. But in other richer countries, you can get even less than that. So, here are 18 countries and what you can get in them for $1. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. It costs $0. Coming in at number 10 we have Dubai. So we all know that Dubai is the home of the mega rich. Any millionaires and billionaires likely go to Dubai. And if you live in Dubai then you better be rich. That is because you can't get much in Dubai for one dollar. In fact in Dubai something as simple as a small bottle of water costs a dollar. But don't worry, if you're going to Dubai, there is one really good deal you can get for $1. You can actually get a shawarma wrap for only $1 in Dubai. Now, you may be wondering why you can get a water for the same price as a full meal. Well, it's pretty much only shawarmas, and that is because of all the competition in Dubai. Shawarmas are one of the people of Dubai's favorite foods, and therefore there's tons of shawarma stores all over the place. So, because there's so much competition, a shawarma costs the same as a bottle of water. So, if you guys love shawarmas and expensive water, then head over to Dubai. Next up is Peru. So Peru is a country where you can get a lot for $1. Far from a bottle of water, you can get an entire fancy meal in Peru for $1. One Peruvian sol is only 31 cent. And because of this very low currency, you can get an entire meal for $1. The dish is called Aji de Gallina. It's a chicken dish in a sauce, which comes with a side of rice. And I have to say, this looks really good. Can you imagine getting this for a dollar in the United States? Most Peruvian restaurants in the States charge around 10 to 20 dollars for this. But if you go to Peru itself, you can get it for just one dollar. Next up is North Korea. So we all know that North Korea is a very controversial and poor country. The country's lead is very rich, but all of the citizens live in poverty. There's a ton of hunger and starvation in North Korea, and it has one of the worst currencies. The North Korean won is worth $0.001, but even with $1, which is 900 North Korean won, you can't get much. For a dollar in North Korea, you can get a bottle of milk. The average North Korean only makes $1,000 a year. This means the average North Korean can buy 1,000 bottles of milk per year. To put that into perspective, the average American can buy 60,000 bottles of milk a year. It starts like this that really prove you do not want to live in North Korea. Next up is Russia. So Russia is another country that doesn't have the strongest currency. And because of this, you can get a pretty good deal for $1. In Russia, you can get 2 kilograms of potatoes for only $1. You may be wondering how that's possible. Of course, partly it's due to their currency. But it's also because Russia is famous for potatoes. Russia don't import any potatoes and grow them all in the country. Many large farms and fields in Russia contain potatoes. So because of all these potatoes in the country, they're very cheap. Next up is Hong Kong. So when it comes to rich countries, Hong Kong is definitely up there. Hong Kong is also one of the most expensive countries in the world to live in. The Hong Kong dollar is pretty weak. However, you can't buy much for one US dollar in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, all you can get for one dollar is a can of cola. Next up is South Korea. So we've already seen you can't get much for one dollar in North Korea. But don't let the names fool you, South and North Korea are very different. In South Korea, you can get some pretty amazing deals for only $1. For example, delicious sushi. You can get a vegetable kimbap roll for just $1 in South Korea. While in the USA, sushi is a luxury and very expensive, in South Korea, it's much more commonplace. This allows them to sell a lot of sushi, an entire meal in fact, for just $1. Next up is India. If you love value for money, then you should go to India. That is because you can get a full family meal for just $1. $1 in India will buy you various curries and naan bread. You'll also get rice and various dips too. The average income of an Indian person is only $600. So when you put it into the perspective of the citizens of India, it's not all that much. But if you're an American traveling to India, then prepare for some great deals. Next up is France. So France is known for great food. And coincidentally, for one dollar, you can get one of the most typical French foods in the world. France's currency is pretty similar to that of the USA. It's slightly stronger, but for one dollar, you can get a baguette. You may think an artisan freshly cooked baguette for one dollar is cheap, but in France, there are many bakeries. Even small villages in France have three to four different bakeries. And much like in Dubai, because of all the competition, this drives down the price of the produce. So in France, prepare to be eating fancy whether you're rich or broke. Next up is Italy. So Italy is another country known for amazing food. But many people say that Italy is pretty snobby when it comes to food. For one dollar in Italy, you can buy an espresso coffee. But if you want to spend your one dollar on an Italian espresso, then be prepared. 
Italians are serious about their coffee, so you should know how to drink it. You can have an espresso any time of day, but if you ask for a cappuccino after 11am, prepare to get some odd looks. Cappuccinos are breakfast coffees, and it's incredibly frowned upon to have one after 11am in Italy. Next up is Nepal. So, Nepal is a small country in South Asia with a very interesting flag. But for one dollar in Nepal, you can get some pretty amazing Asian cuisine. One dollar in Nepal will get you ten Momo dumplings. This is a very delicious and full meal that you can get for just one dollar. In the States, this would cost around ten dollars, so go to Nepal if you want some cheap food. Next up is the United Kingdom. Despite what some people think, the United Kingdom has a lot of good food. But you won't get much for one dollar. Much like in France, what you can get for one dollar in the United Kingdom is a loaf of bread. The British pound is stronger than the United States dollar, so don't expect to get much. And what's more, bread in the UK is not as good as French bread. But if you have one dollar in the United Kingdom, you can get yourself a loaf of bread. Next up is Egypt. So, Egypt is a very special and unique country, linking Northeast Africa with the Middle East. It's known for its rivers, pharaohs and pyramids. But in Egypt, you can get something called the Plate of the Poor. Now that doesn't exactly sound very good, but the Koshari Plate is a national dish. It's a very traditional Egyptian dish and people love it. Not only because it tastes good, but it's also only one dollar. It's a large dish made of vermicelli, lentils, rice, chickpeas, macaroni, and tomato sauce. You can also get crispy fried onions on it too. If you look at photos of it, it looks really delicious. And it's also incredibly filling as it's full of carbohydrates. But the real amazing thing about this meal is it's only one dollar. Next up is Indonesia. So in Indonesia, you can also get a pretty nice meal for only one dollar. In Indonesia, you can get a local breakfast called a bubar ayam. This is a meal with rice, shredded chicken, cottage cheese, and celery. There's also various other things that some people put in this meal. And I have to say, it looks very delicious, especially seeing as it's only one dollar. Next up is Tanzania. So, Tanzania is a small African country, not to be confused with Tasmania, the home of the Tasmanian Devil. Anyway, in Tanzania, you can get a Chipsy Maye for one dollar. This is a potato omelette, which looks kind of like a pancake and an omelette. This is a really delicious looking dish, and it's only one dollar. Next up is United States. Now here's the country where the one dollar really comes from. Of course, in this video, we've been talking about the United States dollar. So, what can you actually get in the United States with one United States dollar? Of course you can get various things, but I think the best thing is a New York City pizza slice. For a dollar you can get a slice of New York City pizza. Next up is Canada. So what can you get for a dollar in Canada? Well in Canada you can get a head of lettuce for one dollar. It's not much, but the Canadian dollar is not weak. It may not be as strong as the United States dollar, but it's still pretty strong. Next up is Czech Republic. So in the Czech Republic for one dollar you can get a glass of beer. This may not seem like much, but it's still a pretty good deal. The Czech Republic is known for their pubs and their beers. So if you have one United States dollar in the Czech Republic, head to a local pub and get yourself a beer. Next up is Hungary. If you get hungry and hungry, what can you get for one dollar? Well, if you have one dollar, you're in luck, as you can get a Kurtos Galakas. This is a Hungarian pastry which looks absolutely delicious. It's simply a rolled up pastry with powdered sugar on top. And what's more inside, you can even wrap your pastry into a cone shape and put ice cream. Also, sometimes these are rolled on coconut shavings. So if you want a delicious, sweet treat in Hungary, then buy one of these. I have to say it's pretty amazing they're only one dollar. So guys, that is what you can get around the world with one dollar. Let me know if you guys want to see what you can get around the world with a hundred dollars. And check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the best thing you can get around the world with one dollar. I think it's the full meal in India because that is such an amazing deal. If you guys want more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in just a moment. And I'll even play a sample of that channel on screen right now for you guys to get a taste. But as always, check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.